Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. What we're looking at is a Singer Heritage, and it is model 8768. And this is the, I guess, what, the 160th anniversary model or something like that. Anyhow, it's uh, a machine that has issues as far as this one came in with the bearings locked up. And these little guys are famous for that. Uh, this whole series of the... You know, the day going one, two, three, four of the bearings, they, they spin out because they get dry of oil. If it sits for a long time, which may even be the amount of time it rode on the container ship from Vietnam to here, it gets dry. I don't know how much oil it leaves a factory with, but I don't think it's very much. And I don't think they're getting it on all the key areas. So I've got quite a few of these. They come in, they're locked up, the hand wheel won't turn. And then you have to take the thing all apart, oil, oil, oil. Uh, code C7 and C7, C7, keep going, and then uh, it'll, go, it'll finally get going. Most common on these is a code C6, which means you're not threading it through here and getting your sensor picked up. But C6, C7, those are the most common ones I get. But uh, this one came in with a C7 code, which means it was dry as a bone. So we got it all taken apart, all oiled up, put back together. And now, of course, it runs like it's supposed to. And now we're going to get some value out of it. I asked people, why did you buy that? I'm thinking it's going to be some logical reason. They said they thought it looked cool. Well, maybe it does. On that little picture you see it online, it's a cool looking little machine. It's black, like the old days, Heritage. That's a nice name. You know, Singer likes to name their stuff cool, like curvy and bodacious and whatever they call them, heavy duty. Anyhow, uh, the Singer Heritage, uh, this little guy, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not a fan. Uh, I always tell people it's not my favorite machine. It's a real nice way of saying, oh my gosh, why did you buy this? Anyhow. People buy them, and they have issues with them, but that's my issues I see. The C6, C7, that means a dry of oil with a C7. C6 means you didn't thread it properly. You didn't get your tension in here and get your sensor to pick up. Always thread it with the presser foot lifted up. Rule number one of threading any sewing machine ever made on the planet since the beginning of time. I'm trying to go too fast. My mouth stopped working here. Uh, lift the presser foot, thread it up. Eliminate the bad sensor C6. C7 is the oil. Okay, well, that's pretty much everything i got to say. Sorry it's been so long since I posted one. We've been fixing broken pipes and drywall and stuff. We're in Texas and we had a freeze issue. Folks with a whole lot more stories in mind, but we're blessed to have uh, everything under, under control and a great insurance company, USAA. Uh, super cred to them. And uh, Jeremiah, my adjuster, everybody's pretty awesome at USAA. So anyhow, we're back in the saddle again. It's warmed up, and now we can make a video. And sorry, it's not a glowing video from like a 301 or a 401. It has to be a Singer Heritage. You know, Singer says, we can't make it better. We'll make it different. And by golly, this one is different. So have fun with this little guy. Appreciate it. Thanks.